Paul asked me to work with him doing a soundtrack for a video game, Destiny it was called. And uh, he gave me the song and I went away and did some work on it and he really liked it. And he was in the middle of starting recording his album. Um, and I actually went to Avatar Studios in, in, in New York. And I was kind of reticent about working with him because I, I know him and I like him. You know, I've known him for all my life. And also I sort of am happy doing the Beatles stuff and never not breaking that bond. You don't want to go off and do it. It's a, it's a kind of a, there's a balance to everything you need to get. But I, I did work, I suppose, with George because I worked on, there was a Martin Scorsese film called Living the Material World. So I went off and did George for a bit. Um, and then when Paul asked me, you can't say, you know, you don't say no to Paul. And I work with lots of artists. I've worked with like, you know, Kate Bush and Elvis Costello and, you know, pop bands and, and, and it, working with Paul for the first time people would be surprised that it was the he was the artist that made me feel less like I was my father's son compared to anyone else. When well, you think of the other way around, it'd be like it's just like working with George, where he knows what he knows me and he knew my dad. And there's no he knows what he knows us. Does that make sense? And so with him, I remember saying to him very you know, I said, Do you wanna you know, we were doing a bass part, do you wanna be here in the in the in the control room with me or do you wanna be he goes, No, you're the producer, I'm the artist. You judge what I do and that's the way we worked. And it was a very it was a, actually a great relationship. And we had we had a we had we had a lot of fun doing it. I think and it's a good record. The thing about Paul is that you can do what appeals to me is you can do anything. You know, you have that luxury, obviously, he's Paul McCartney, but he has our studios we fill up fill the studios full of all like the Mellotron from you know, the original Mellotron, we have a piano, glockenspiel, Rhodes, Whirly, drum kits, basses, you know. And it's like, what she put on it now? And he can play everything. And so I remember one time we were doing a song and I thought we should try some piano. And before I'd said the end of the piano, he, was, he came in the control and I said, should we try some piano? And he'd already gone and he was sitting at the piano. He likes to be produced. He likes people to say things. He likes that, that relationship. Um, you know, he likes to think about his playing and not think about producing, if that makes sense. Because if you're producing yourself, you're constantly thinking about the whole thing. You know, he, he, the weird thing, I think the only weird thing for me producing Paul was thinking, oh my God, he's worked with just about every single greatest producer on the planet. And he's known me since I was three, you know, two years old. And this is just a bit odd. Why should he listen to me? You know, that's why, that's what I thought. But I guess also, I suppose in part of his mind, he's thinking, if I want to get the snare drum sound from flying, he knows what the snare drum sound from flying is. You know, I can cross-reference his past faster than anyone else, I suppose. It was great.